internationals, we always like to walk around and learn the different stories for each horse and exhibitor and what they have gone through to get to Sport Horse Nationals. We found two very unique stories. The first was at Thel Arabians with the horse GT Badman Jose. My name is Rick Thel from Green, Rhode Island. Thel Arabians is the stable. Well, I found the horse three and a half years ago in Pennsylvania. The owner of the barn said, we have a horse here that we really don't want. No one wants him. He's living out in the field. Just take him. Please take him. I think it was around March. Finally, we got him there. Um, came off the trailer. Looked fine. You know, not an issue with him. And I threw him in the stall. And two days later, I took him out to lunge him. And he seemed fine. Another day, I got on. Like three days later, I got on and rode him. And he was just not a very safe horse. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe I did this. I mean, he pretty much scared me. So finally, after two days of just trotting him around a little bit, I asked for his first canter, and he basically was like falling down behind. I kept saying to myself, well, what is wrong with this horse? All he'd do was like collapse behind and fall forward on his forehand, collapse behind, fall forward on his forehand. So when we brought him to Tufts University, about maybe three weeks later, they did actually a full like purchase exam on the horse, and he actually collapsed in the clinic, trotting away right to his nose I mean to his knees to his nose and split his lip and the vet looked over at me at the, at the time which was Dr. Garcia and he goes that's strange but he went right into x-rays did an MRI and came back and he told me there was zero tendons holding his ankle together zero nothing but it was a full year and basically people said that he'll probably never show again because the horses with that lower ankle tendon suspensory type issues they don't come back so after a year of treating him they are now, they were strong. So probably about three weeks later, getting ready for his second year, which I had him for a horse show. We turned him out for a few days more than we normally do. And he ran into a fence post and fractured his shoulder, which was his left shoulder. So now it's a left shoulder and a right hind ankle. So that was pretty much it. And then he went through that whole winter of a layoff and then to get ready. Last year, we took him to three shows. We went East Coast championships with him. He did pretty good. He we do dressage with him. Madison, my daughter, did the JTR sport horse, won the class with him there. He was reserve, high point, I think two days in a row there in Halter. And I thought, well, it's East Coast, but it's not a national type event. So he went back home again and he sat through the winter resting. And we brought him back this year to gear up. And then he did three shows this year prior to this event. And he's been pretty much champion or reserve in all his classes. Yeah, there's a lot of amazing horses to be found out there. There are a lot of amazing horses. At Sea Arabians, we ran into two horses, Eddie and Pepper, that have big, friendly personalities. Cayenne Pepper, or better known as Pepper, in particular, had a rough start but had quite the amazing rescue and has stolen the heart of his owners. Um, I'm Carla Scarmazzi. Uh, I have Sea Arabians. We're from Beaver Dam, Virginia. Jerry Reed, uh, also part of Sea Arabian. Pepper, you know, I was like, told you it was a rescue. Um, Eddie came from an auction, so we brought uh, we brought Eddie back this year because he was also there. And then this is Pepper's first year. Picked up a pasture in Ashland, Virginia. The train 67 runs from Boston to Newport News, and I at that time was working uh, the segment between Washington and Newport News, Virginia. Picked up uh, a pasture in Ashland, Virginia that was going to Newport News. In passing with the pasture, she noticed my AHA button as well as my Region 15 uh, logo pen and, and my USEF pen. And she, she mentioned, you know, she says, I, I need to stop you and talk to you about something. I noticed you have these pens. Do you have uh, Porsche? I said yes, and she says, uh, do you have an Arabian? And I said, yes, well, I have an Arabian for you. The uh, cayenne pepper, and she called it pepper, it was a thoroughbred, or Anglo, and uh, half Arabian, half thoroughbred. A couple hundred pounds underweight. Um, I thought it may not be a great idea to get on him. I thought if he lets me get on him, he'll be a great horse in the long run. And uh, I got on him, walked, he even offered a trot. I said, okay, let's stop, let's attack him, let's, let me see the papers, brought him back to what he is today, and, and, and then started training. So, um, it's a huge success story. He is Four huge. Four horse national, first top ten. <laughs> he is a bold roller baby. You know, and of course he's a redhead, so the Dane is a mom, Sam's the Dane is the devil, so, and he's cayenne you know, pepper, so you can't miss him. So he's related he's to Secretary, Carolina <laughs> County prodigy, you know. <laughs>